What's up, my beautiful nieces, Divine Feminine, and Divine Masculine, if you up in here. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Divine Feminine, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. So, only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. Divine Feminine, you got somebody out there that's hoping, expecting, trying to manifest you back. This is somebody who hurt you, hurt you, <laughs> hurt your heart, broke your heart, destroyed your heart. And you're not lusting after this person. You're not giving this person your sexual energy anymore because this person is a player. Now I asked the Holy Spirit, how did this person break your heart? First card came out was the King of Swords in reverse. So the King of Swords is a big ass liar. He's a narcissist. He's a manipulator. And he lies a lot. Okay? He abuses his authority. And this person broke your heart. Whoever this, they could be a um, Aries, I mean, a um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Or they could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn with the Ten of Pentacles out here. What broke your heart with this person is, was the Seven of Swords. Okay. And the Seven of Swords, it came out when I clarified what the Seven of Swords was, that's when the Ten of Pentacles came out. So this person, they lied to you about their financial status. This person was, was, um, contributing a lot of uh, money to his family. Now, this family could be like his brothers and sister, his mother and father, or this could be a family with a wife and kids or a baby mama and kids is what I really feel. <clears throat> that you didn't know that this masculine either had a long-term relationship or a marriage with somebody else and it broke your heart. This would be something that would destroy somebody's heart. And that would be a big ass lie of manipulation for someone to have a whole entire family and not tell you. This person, they're playing. Okay, King of Wands in reverse. They have a lot of sexual energy. And with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles is all about um stability, um, independent wealth, um, financially independent, stability, okay, but that's in reverse, see, whoever this person is, they, it's like they wasn't giving to you, and they had all of this money, but they didn't give to you, Divine Feminine. They were doing a lot of lying and manipulating. Okay? And they taking their money and, and they playing, you know, paying for pussy, and paying for friendships. And this just took the, the energy of lust away from you. You don't want to give this person your sexual energy because you know they still fucking around with either a baby mama or ex-wife. They got other energies out here that they fucking around which was causing delays between you and this person. They were causing obstacles with the three of wands in reverse, restrictions, frustration. Yeah. That was why there was no progress, no growth between you and this person. And, you know, it broke your heart. But now this person, you know, um, I don't know if you're still with this person um, or if you and them have broken up, you're, you're still in communication, 
It's just saying this person, they're they're trying to manifest you back. But I feel like they they're the obstacles that's out here is your your ancestors is blocking you. And they having a tower moment. Yeah, with death out here in reverse, this person they don't want want something to end with you. But they got a whole family that they give it to. So, you know, like, I look at it like this. If this masculine, he has children with another woman. What you got to think about Divine Feminine, and I, I, I paid attention, and I, I thought about this too, and I just, cold turkey just, you know, stop calling my masculine, just like cold turkey stop smoking cigarettes. Cold turkey stop drinking. Cold turkey stop smoking weed. Cold turkey, for those of you that do drugs, pop pills or whatever, and you just automatically just quit. That's cold turkey. Okay. And that's what somebody did. Because when you really look at it, if this masculine has a family and he's taking care of the kids, even when them children are over 18 and you say, well, okay, well, when this kids is 18, then, you know, it's time for me and him to be together and, and you know, make progress between me and this person. But if he have kids, them kids, even though when they turn 18, if this masculine is the masculine that, say for instance, when his his son or his daughter, when they turn 18, 21, he gonna purchase them a car. Even if it's a bucket. He gonna get them a car, right? But even though they 18 and 21 and they're older, when them cars break down, he's still going to be the one that they call to get it fixed. He's still going to be the one who come out the pocket. Okay? So, Divine Feminine, there's no room for you. Okay? Because when this masculine, if, if he's taking all of this Ten of Pentacles, providing financially for his family... This is how your heart got broken because he lied about this family. He didn't tell you. He didn't tell you. Okay. Yeah, he didn't tell you that he had a family and that family is codependent on him. Yeah. Okay. But now this masculine is hoping and expecting and trying to manifest you back. Look. He's having regrets. He's disappointed in himself because he allowed his family to manipulate and this is why the two of cups came in reverse there was no equal give and take between you and this masculine because you was given divine feminine but he was given more or less to his family okay and this could be you know he may not even be married he could be this could be his grown kids and that the mama could be manipulating them to to wear because if the mama don't like you she don't like the fact that he's with you Divine Feminine, if this is the bitter ex that this masculine has been with, she's going manipula to her, manipulate her kids and to manipulate him. Well, I want a car. Well, call your daddy and, and, and tell him to help you get a car. Tell your daddy you want a car. That's because she knows that he's in a relationship with a, with a real woman. And a real man is going to take care of his woman and that real woman is going to take care of her man. But this karmic feminine, she don't want this masculine to take care of his divine feminine. Even though the kids is grown, she still wants to have control. That's how she's controlling these masculines. So most of you divine feminines, you done walked away from this bullshit. Because that's what it is. When my kids turned 18, I didn't try to get their dads to do shit for them. I did it my damn self. But you don't got women out here. They'll still have their kids out there all the way up to they and they... 30s. Go and ask your daddy. Go ask your daddy. Making the kids and the kids think they more than everybody. Because this masculine is out here burning himself out over obligated. Taking care of these grown ass kids. Yeah. Tell me more. That's why the two of cups is in reverse. And this masculine, he's regretting this. Okay? With the five of cups. Regrets. Sorrow. Disappointment. 
feeling like a failure. Because see, his kids gonna that's what's gonna be funny. His kids gonna grow up and have met have get married, have relationships and shit, and he didn't let his kids keep him from doing that. He didn't let his baby mama keep him from getting with a true divine feminine. It is what it is. Tell the truth, shame the devil. Yeah. End of conflict. So the, it, the uh, five of wands is in reverse. It's about an ending of some sort of conflict. He's at peace. But he's having regrets. So he may have ended. What is this five of wands? Mm. Karma. Mm. Karma. Judgment in reverse. Ignoring your calling. Self-doubt. See, this whoever this these this family is with this masculine or his ex-wife and the kids. They put a lot of self-doubt in this masculine's mind. He he criticizes himself inward. And this masculine has a calling that he's ignoring because of these this family. But this is a master manipulator and he abuses his authority. So this is somebody who would want a divine feminine to wait around on him. Why he sit around and, and carry his kids around like a fucking chariot and divine feminine is supposed to sit there and wait. Ah. See, look. Ten of wands. Burden. Stressed. Yeah, and he's in sorrow and disappointment. Because of this 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 family that he didn't tell divine feminine that he had. And all and he's stingy with you. Right? This is why he's stingy. And one of my, my people out there in the comments, let me clear this up. She said, I overstepped my boundaries trying to tell you what to do. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Maybe I did say, I say silly things like, if you go back to this person, auntie going to pull her belt out and whoop you. How the fuck am I going to pull a belt out and whoop you if I don't know you? Huh? And even if I did, I don't even pull a belt out and tell my damn kids shit. They grown. Everybody on this channel is grown. I can tell you all day to leave a motherfucker, but if you want that dick and you want to be with him and you want to be mistreated, that's you. All I'm doing is reading the cards. I kind of got a little offended, but then I just deleted the comment, you know, saying I'm overstepping my boundaries. This, this channel is for entertainment. And that was the only negative comment I got. You know, if you agree with me, but no, Auntie, Auntie can't tell you, you know, to take a person back. Some of my ratings, like when I do the advice, but if you're watching the reading and the cards is telling you, if it's resonating with you and they're telling you, like this is right here, this is this is the player. The cards are saying this King of Wands in reverse, he's a player. He likes sex. Now I don't I don't care if you go back to him. That's you. If you want to be with a player, that's you. I can't call it and tell you what, what to do. You are a grown motherfuckers. I can't tell you that. I can tell you what I see. I can give you advice, but you're you're your own woman, your own man. You do what you want to do. But I'm telling you so you won't be looking like a fool. So some people, you know, they don't like my aunt said she dead and gone. She knew my uncle was cheating on her. She was like, well, if I'm a fool, I'm going to be a happy fool. Because he was bringing her the paycheck. But still and so, it don't matter how much money somebody is bringing you. If you ain't got your shit together to where you don't need them, you're only there for them to take care of you. If you get offended, you know, by me saying you're not in the divine energy or you're not um, in the queen of pentacles upright, that don't mean you're a bad person. It just means that your money ain't right to where you have to be codependent on, on this man. And that's not for everybody. And I'm not trying to step on nobody's toes. I'm just telling you to read them. I can sit here and read the cards to you all day and you can listen to them all day. 
but you would go right back and, and, and kiss on that mask and as soon as you as a matter of fact when he walked in the room you'll hurry up and turn this video off and go in there and, and hug and kiss on him and you know he done been with somebody else so that's your business it's not mine I, I can't I can't make a decision for you I'm just saying but anyway somebody is dealing with a player and this player is having regrets now what I will say when I do tell you or said in my readings I wouldn't take this person back now I've corrected myself because if you if you take them back you take them back by using your intuition you talk to the most high God and your spirit guides and if this person has healed then you take them back I can't tell you not to take them back but if you do make sure that they're healed make sure that they that you're not a part of their clan make sure that they not doing no spell work on you make sure that they're awakened okay make sure they ain't cheating on you make sure they ain't got no baby mama out there that you don't know about okay Maybe I need to, you know, it's kind of hard when you're reading for a bunch of people. But if the reading is always saying, take what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else. Sometimes people will make comments and the, the reading don't even resonate with them. They just get in the comments talking shit and I end up deleting them comments. Somebody may see them for the first day or so, but the next day that comment going to be deleted. Any negative comments that come in my comments, I delete them. And if I don't delete them, YouTube will. I'm not trying to trying to uh, tell nobody how to live their life. If you watching the readings, you need and you must be needing guidance. If you gotta watch a damn tarot reading, what does that say? And believe me, I know this is the reason why I started reading for myself. Because the reads will confuse you, especially if you don't know how to use your intuition, and if you don't know how to use your discernment. You can sit there and watch a reading 20 times, 20 different readers every day. And they all could be telling you the same thing, that your person is cheating on you, but you will still be with that person. So don't get mad at us readers. Be mad at yourself. Kick yourself in the ass. Wake the fuck up. What am I still with this person for? I done seen the messages. He done came home smelling like perfume. I done found some panties in my back of my car. Shit like that where you know for a fact the earring that don't belong to yours. And you'll watch reading all day, readings all day, and tell you this person is cheating. And you still walking around with your fucking eyes closed. Okay? So don't get offended. These readings are here to, to give you confirmation in what your intuition been telling you. The reason you come to tarot is because you already got it in your intuition that your person is doing something they ain't supposed to be doing. Otherwise, why are you here? It ain't that damn show ain't here. You know, at least on my channel, I don't see y'all be clicking to, to find out what's good. You click to find out what's going on with your person and their karmic. So you know that they doing something. You just want to know what's going on with them. So I'm that auntie that's going to tell you the truth because the truth tells me. And that is the truth. And if the truth hurts, I got to tell you. If the truth makes you mad, I'm going to still tell you. Even if it's scary, I'm going to still tell you. But you need to heal. And I didn't mean to say all of that. But I had to say it. Because whoever this energy is, they broke your heart. They broke your heart. Somebody that, and and um, hey, whoever this is, I gotta say it. And if you get mad, and I lose a few subscribers. Then oh well. If this is your energy, and you found out that your person has a whole family somewhere in another city or another state, 
and you found out about it and they lied to you and they broke they didn't tell you about it somebody else told you and you still with that person who's a fool so I'm gonna stop it right here I ain't going no further and I will see you in the next week peace out auntie love you I got to tell you the truth. Whoever energy this is, if your person has been being stingy with you, they're not, not that you're supposed to be in a relationship to where they're financially giving to you. You're supposed to be equal, equally giving to each other. But if you're in a relationship and you're doing all the giving and they doing all the taking and they taking your energy, your love, your intimacy, your 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 energy and taking it to another family or being stingy with their shit because they're still invested deeply in another family situation and you know when you still dealing with it you's a fool i'm sorry i will tell my sons the same goddamn thing if you know they got a family it ain't no room for you if they got kids and them kids is growing up I accepted it myself and walked the fuck away. And that's what some of you need to do. Now, if you don't want to walk away and you sprung on the dick and all of that shit, you just can't seem to go where you need this person and they little pity pitching finances, then you go on. That means that you're not here. All right? So I'll see you in the next reading.